All right, so I am about to tackle my guest bathroom closet. It is high time that I get in here and tackle all of the disorganization. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's not great. Okay, so I have all of this stuff down here to kind of process and get rid of and things. And then I have to make some sense of these towels. And then this is Ashley's baby, um, her baby bath chair. And then a breast pump that I can probably give away now because <laughs> nothing's happening here. Okay, dust will probably come out if I try to pump. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. So those days are over. So I am about to get in here and I figured let me turn the camera on and take you guys along with me in this small little process of getting this guest room ready for my guests because, you know, we're in that season where we'll have some guests and I want to make sure that I pack this closet full of all the accommodations and amenities that they may need. Um, even if they don't need them, they'll be here for them just in case. So yeah. All right, let's get going. So, so far I did purge and pull out some bath linens and these are items that I am going to give away. We have quite a few bath towels and I'm pretty um, well um, equipped and staffed in terms of towels. So these are items that I'm going to give away to our local donation center and then they can do with them what they will. So that's where I have gotten so far and I'm about to now really clear out this closet. So now I'm moving on to mopping my space and I really wanted to get in here and just do a really good clean mopping, a deep, deep disinfecting. And I will say though, the space wasn't horrible because this is our main guest room and I believe the last person that was here, it may have been my mother in love, 
she was the last person and every time we host her I go behind and also clean the bathroom so this bathroom stays clean anyway on a regular basis but I just wanted to also just really get in here and just give it a deep deep clean like over and over just go over the spaces and make sure that everything was wiped down and disinfected and then wiped dry as possible because I do know that moisture is the enemy of um, different spaces and surfaces and things, especially in the bathroom. Um, I believe studies would probably show that bathroom spaces can be very germy and um, host bacteria if you're not careful. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going ahead and taking down the shower curtain and liner and I'm replacing it with a brand new one. This visit gave me the reason and the, the excuse to go ahead and just replace it with the color scheme that I really wanted to anyway. My inspiration came from the two pictures on the wall. It has a beautiful like aqua blue that I wanted to um, incorporate in my shower curtain. So I went ahead and ordered offline. I believe it was, it was Amazon. Then I ordered a shower curtain and a new liner. So everything got a fresh uh, shower curtain liner. Well, the, the shower got a fresh shower curtain liner. And also my rug. I just want to keep it white so I can continue to bleach it. I did not receive my rug yet, so I'm probably going to have to go ahead and just wash and bleach my uh previous rug and just put it down there until the new one comes in but that's fine so earlier you saw me just a few seconds ago show you the double pronged shower ring that i did um purchase as well i had these for a long time and that allows you to put your shower liner on in the um back and then also separately put your shower curtain which is more decorative in the front without them getting in the way and you can slide your shower curtain open and sh shut without a problem now i have moved into what i like to call the mother's room and i am cleaning deep cleaning this room and it does call for a makeover and i believe that's going to be coming early spring if not sooner but I'm going to go ahead and I just stripped down the bed and all of the linens. I'm going to wash every everything in there. I did spray the um, mattress with some Lysol. Let it sit and soak in there. And I'm going over it again with my vacuum cleaner. And I'm just getting every dust particle that I could possibly get. And just checking for anything. Like no bed bugs or, and all. But... I'm just making sure that everything is clean. So now I'm moving on to dusting some of this furniture. Now this furniture is old, old. It's over 50, I wanna say maybe 60 years old. And I'm dusting down all the furniture. And now I'm moving on to steaming this chair out. I sprayed it down with um, a solution, a cleaning solution, and let it dry. And now I'm just kind of steaming it to hopefully bring it back to life. And I will say that this method is really, really good. If you want to just bring your items back to life, try steaming it because this chair smells so good. And in person, it looked so much better. So I wanted to try something a little different for under my bathroom sink in my guest bathroom. So I went ahead and ordered off of Amazon. This Ron Lap is the name of the uh, item. It's a two-pack, two-tiered, under-the-sink organizer and storage system that you see me putting here, um, putting together. So it was fairly um, easy. And it comes with like a hanging cup that you can hang on the side, hooks and dividers, which I didn't use. I may have used maybe one divider. And you can pretty much use it 
anywhere. You can put it under your bathroom cabinet, under your kitchen sink. If you have an office space, you can set it on your countertop. It just depends on the aesthetics that you want to go for. I wanted mine tucked away because I don't like it. It's not pretty enough for me to have it really out out. But this is what it looks like. And I was successful in it. So I've moved on to my um, back guest room and this was Ashley's former room. First it started out as her nursery and then her um, big girl bedroom and then we did the um, big girl room switch over years ago and so this has become our second guest room. So I'm just going ahead and wiping down all of my furniture as much as possible. I even got on top of <laughs> the Anwar and wiped down the top and things. Just trying to make it as dust free as possible because my family, especially my mother and my sister, they do suffer from allergies and um, sinus issues. So with that in mind, I wanted to make sure that I tried to just clean down everything, you know, as much as possible. I may even put a um, humidifier in here, maybe or at least some type of um, air purifier just to help them out as well because my house is very dusty and we are vigilant about changing our air filters out. But that's another thing. Just try to be mindful um, of your air quality in your homes. I do have, I think, one or two uh, air purifiers. I probably need an industrial one. But um, I have a few just to kind of help with the air quality, also for the little lady. So I'm spinning you around. This room is a wreck right now, but I'm in the midst of clearing it out, cleaning it, wiping it down, disinfecting, steaming, all of the good stuff that goes with turning over your rooms, getting ready for your guest.
part of my organization was to order some clear bins from M Design off of Amazon. And I did not take notice that they are flip top bins instead of um, the drawer, the pull out drawer bins, the clear bins. And I think that's more functional for my space. I wanted to put them down um, below my uh, sink and have them stacked up as high as they would go. I think like three or four high. And I realized that I've ordered the wrong style of bins. So I'm going to go ahead and order more later on, but I'm using these now. I'm not going to label them. I'm not going to label them because I don't want to use these for this specific purpose and that is for face and for bath and for body and for hair and for um, nails and I was going to label them accordingly so my guests would just see real quick what each bin would be for so if they are needing some items for a specific category they could just take a quick look and look but now I have to wait and um, order the pullout drawers and then I'll switch these out for another space in my home that I know needs a bit of tidying and some organization as well. So I'm not one to send a lot of things back unless I consider it really wasteful and just excessive, but I know that I surely can use these bins. So you see me here putting my um, bath items in this bin. So it's going to work perfectly once I get the pullout bins because who has the time to unstack these bins to access the top flip lid because it flips up as you saw here in the video um, earlier and I'm stashing my Epsom salt and those are some shower caps and then as I get more items to place in there for the category of bath I will do so but yeah so that's on the agenda I'm going to go ahead and switch these out but for right now they will do the trick
thank you guys so much if you stayed with me until the end of this video i do hope and pray that you enjoyed this video and got some motivation or at least share entertainment out of it and that you got some ideas on how to spoil your guests for the um, fall season as well as any other season and please don't forget to like comment and share subscribe if you don't mind as always this is lady curry wishing you comfort and joy from my heart to yours take care guys